Okay, this is MX2X. Just doing a little work here on the Lordstown Motors Endurance. Uh, proprietary all electric vehicle developed over 10 years. 6.2 million square foot manufacturing facility and experienced team. Um, what is LMC's relationship with General Motors? It has no relationship now. Uh, we have a contract regarding financing the purchase and initial startup of the Lordstown Motors facility. So this is from uh, early on in the endurance. The endurance is the result of 10 years of research and development, which has been tested under the most rigorous fleet demands. Uh, resulting in unique validated technology. This, this vehicle is 100% electric and it delivers up to 250 miles per charge. It uses no gasoline and produces zero emissions. Uh, the warranty will be three years bumper to bumper, eight years on the battery. 4,800 pounds of torque and can tow up to 8,000 pounds. So that is the same. What we're looking at here is this 250 miles per charge of range. And this is the original. Uh, again, this mentions the GM purchase. So this is Lord's Time Motors point one. Now, these are the facts or the specs for the 2023 Lordstown version 2 Endurance. And take a look at these mileage range related numbers. They have the MPGE miles per gallon target for the new 2023 Lordstown Motors Endurance, Lordstown Motors version 2. The MPGE is 65. The old number was 75. There's a big description uh, discrepancy there. On the EPA range, again, EPA range estimate target. Target. That doesn't say formal EPA range. Both of these are targets. They're hedging here. They don't have the final certification paperwork in. 200 miles the old range on the endurance was 250 miles that is the endurance v1 LM, lmc motors version one so uh, we've got a 10 mile per gallon e difference and a 50 mile per uh mile uh, range difference okay now i would remind you that the range on the f-150 lightning pro you know the standard model uh, lightning is 230 this is tw the old range mileage is 20 miles further than the lightning the point i'm trying to make here is they are couching this range figure they are using targets. This is not the actual range. There's no reason uh, that the endurance range, in my mind, should drop this much. Uh, if anything, it should be higher. Um, you know, uh, you deduce by the reduction of the frunk size uh, from 20 cubic feet to 10 cubic feet. Uh, obviously, there is a... Uh, heat pump uh, involved in, in the uh, endurance and um, that in itself should uh, increase uh, under use 10% uh, the range should be increased 10% as well the hub motors themselves provide 30% more regenerative braking uh, than a standard, you know, uh, electric motor, um, DC, AC, whatever you want to call it in a, for, for example, a Ford Lightning. Um, 
So, I do believe that Lordstown Motors is waiting for the paperwork from the EPA on this. I do not believe that these range numbers that are given as targets are going to hold up. I do believe that um, when these formal numbers are going to be released, uh, you know, the Endurance Point 1, Lordstown Point 1, that was a 250-mile range. And the Whisper number on that was, uh, you know, 265 was kind of the top end on that. If you add the, uh, 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 you know, the other factors in, uh, I think we're, we're looking at um, what... Um, at least, uh, you know, 20, 25 miles more than the base Ford Lightning. And that's in good weather because, let's face it, if it's below 40 degrees, the Ford Lightning is going to lose 50% of its range. It's going to go down from 230 down to uh, 115 all right, in this next section, I'm just going to go over some car coach reports. This review that just came out with uh, Chip Yee at Lordstown Motors. I'm just going to play some very short clips from this. I'll put a link in the description. A great review of the Endurance. So tell me about Lordstown Motor. I mean, people know Ford, GM, Chrysler. We know there's a lot of other brands out there that are independent brands. So That's, it's reasonable. And yes. the battery lights that's uh, on this vehicle. If you buy the, are there different battery lights you can buy? Um, you mean ranges? Ranges, yes. Uh, currently, we only have one range, and that's uh, that's a 109 kilowatt hour okay. battery pack, and takes you about 200 miles. Okay, okay, great. And so it's an American-owned company. Yes. Okay, so these are American-built trucks. Yes. Are the batteries built here in the U.S. as well? The batteries are built in the same assembly line of the production line in Lordstown. So you will Ohio. qualify for the uh, in 2023 for the yes. tax credit? Yes, we should. Okay, because not a lot of vehicles are. Uh, no. That's going to be an interesting situation when you realize all these vehicles that were aren't and now new ones are. So you're going to be one of the very few that will qualify. Okay, that was a great uh, review. You got to watch the full thing. There's a lot of news in that review. Uh, I revised my flow chart, and I'm just trying to explain to everyone. Everyone thinks that Lordstown Motors has nothing to do with this. This is the ful fulcrum model. Foxconn, you can understand the fulcrum in the middle. Let's just talk about Lordstown Motors. They're doing the certification, all the engineering, all the design work. They're doing the quality control. Actually, the employees that are there building trucks right now are former Lordstown Motors employees. Lordstown Motors is the fulcrum that is going to help Foxconn reach the goal of 5% global BEV dominance. Okay, I just want to go out on this video going over this range issue. I have to tell you, I've combed through uh, many, many interviews and uh, much uh, information that has been released on uh, the Endurance, the 2023 Endurance, the one that's up for Truck of the Year, and just absolutely hours of time spent, and there is nowhere that they state this is the range it is about it is couched it is a target it is anything but the epa certified range now the uh, endurance certainly has been certified and certainly the range has been tested and certainly there is a range figure and i am you know, 51% sure, actually more than that, that this is not the range. If this was the range, they would clearly state this is the EPA range. They're saying target about this, that. 
under uh, the endurance point one, uh, which is slightly different. Uh, this endurance is a bit heavier, uh, but not anything to affect the mileage the way it has been. Um, uh, they were saying 250, and the and, and you know, and you you would hear the whis whisper numbers of 265 for range. Um, I just do not, uh, I cannot fathom nor find a reason why the range would be reduced by uh, 25 percent with the new model. There's, it's just, this is ludicrous. Um, I'm going to give you my opinion on this. Not a lawyer, not an engineer, not a financial advisor, not an accountant. Do your own DD. But, in my opinion, this is not the range. I do believe the range is going to be basically the equivalent of the former number if not higher because of the heat pump which i am 51 percent certain is part of the heating and cooling system of this truck good luck in the market don't listen to the fud 